So you're interested in either pre-ordering Anthem or finding out more information on a VIP demo. But it can be really confusing to keep up to date with. You have the Standard Edition, the Legion of Dawn version, as well as the EA memberships, both Basic and Premier. You have the VIP demo, the free demo, early access for 10 hours for the full game. There's a lot, right? So in this video, we're going to cover this in twofold. We're going to go over each version of the way that you can play the game early and the various ways that you can pre-order or get membership to the game and what you get with it. Because there is quite a lot surprisingly that you can personally get included some details on something that you can get playing the vip demo in january my name is ryan central and if you want more anthem content then do subscribe to the channel i should be able to show some never before seen gameplay soon on the channel from stockholm as well as some new announcements amazing videos and of course giveaways which will be starting up soon as i said there's a lot to go over here and it's quite difficult to know where to start so we'll go over the different versions and what they have access to to begin with because remember this diagram that anthem and Bioware gave to us. Well, it's actually kind of out of date, so we'll go about making another one starting with the demos. We of course have the VIP demo, which is the first and next way to play Anthem ourselves, which starts on the 25th of January and goes to the 27th. I don't know when it specifically starts in terms of time of date, but as soon as I know that, I will let you guys know too. And it's the same for the free demo, which is the 1st to the 3rd of February. These run from a Friday to a Sunday, the VIP demo a week before the free demo, and it will both have the same access to the game. This will be you starting from level 10 and you go all the way up to level 15. You will have various missions and contracts that you could do. You will have access to all of the javelins, the interceptor, the storm, ranger, and of course the colossus, hashtag fit guys save lives. You will also have full access to the forge, which means that you can put on different abilities, have different loadouts and play styles, and also you can customize how your javelin looks. So you'll be able to do all of that in the demos too. And you'll also have access to a stronghold, which I'm showing on screen. It's of the scars and villainy one some of it has changed apparently but we will be able to play this during our time in both of these demos now i don't know if progress from the vip demo carries over to the free demo i would assume not but i do know that both of these demos the progress will not carry over to the full game launch so whatever progress or characters that you make during these demos will be deleted and lost once they're over we'll do a full video going over exactly what's going to be in the vip demo closer to the time but i'm more interested in what versions grant you access to the VIP demo on the 25th to the 27th. This is a great time to go over the different ways that you can pay money to get access to Anthem. You have the pre-order of the standard edition, which is around £55 on the EA website, but I assume from stuff like game, at least in the UK, you'll be able to get it a lot cheaper. In various supermarkets in America, there's going to be loads of places that you can get it a lot cheaper than this, I believe. But this is the standard version of the game. Nothing really exciting about it, but you do get some various stuff for pre-ordering, which we will go over in a second. You have the Legion of Dawn edition, which is about £15 more expensive, about 80 quid on EA's website. But again, most likely going to be able to get it cheaper in various places if you want to have a look around. All of the stuff that you get from the Legion of Dawn is purely cosmetic. But as I said, we'll go over that in a second. We then, of course, have the various ways that EA membership works across Xbox and PC. There is no way to have an EA membership membership on PlayStation 4 unfortunately. You have EA Access and Origin Access which are the bare minimum ones that you can get on Xbox and PC respectfully. For a month EA Access is about £4, not quite sure what it is in dollars. And then you have Premier Access which is only available on PC so you can't get this access on Xbox or PlayStation 4 and that's around £15 a month. We will be talking a lot about Premier Access during this video but just to reiterate you have the basic pre-order, you have the Legion of Dawn pre-order which of course you just just pay the base amount and that's it. And then you have the free membership schemes of EA Access, which is just for Xbox, Origin Access, which is just for PC, and then Premier Access, which is the more expensive version for PC, but you get more with it. In terms of the VIP demo, all of these gain access to it. The only people that don't are people that don't pre-order the game or don't pay money for EA's membership schemes. But for the free demo, everyone could play it. Your nan could play it if she wanted to. I know she's been looking at the Interceptor like, hmm, juicy piece of ass right there. I can't say that, can I? In any case, anybody can play it. So if you're still on the fence about this game, make sure that you book off that weekend and play as much of it as you can to give yourself a better understanding. But now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, see? You have the early access to the game. The game officially launches on the 22nd of Feb, but you could gain access to it and keep your progress from the 15th, a full week early. How much of it you can play depends on the membership schemes of EA because you can't get this from pre-ordering the game 
game like a normal person. If you have EA Access, which again is for Xbox and Origin Access, I'm just going to refer to them both as Origin Access. Again, PS4, you have no way to play this game early, unfortunately. But if you have the base membership for both Xbox and PC, you will gain 10 hours on Feb the 15th to play the game. Once you've done over 10 hours of gameplay, I assume that the game will lock you out and say, see you on the 22nd, kid. But if you get the Premier Access, which again is £15 a month, and purely for PC, you gain full access to the game a full week earlier, which I find is crazy. Not only that, you do get access to other games such as Star Wars Battlefront 2, I think was added recently, various sports games like Madden and FIFA, of course, but this is the only way to play the full game a full week earlier. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve, you unfortunately need to get Premier Access to the game, but you don't need to pre-order it at the same time. It's worth noting for Premier Access, you do get full access to the game at launch too. You technically do own the game, but as soon as your membership stops with Premier Access, I just assume that you won't be allowed to play the game. The Origin will be like, nope, sorry, you need to be subscribed. Kind of like Netflix, that kind of thing. But just to quickly go over that again, if you pre-order any version of the game or have any version of EA's memberships on Xbox and PC, you can gain access to the VIP demo on the 25th to the 27th. If you don't have these, unfortunately you won't be able to play that weekend, but you will be able to play the free demo, which is open to everyone on all platforms. If you want to play the game early though, you have to have at least Origin Access on PC or EA Access on Xbox, but that still only gives you 10 hours of playtime before it locks you out. If you want to access the full game completely a week before the official launch, you need Premier Access, which is only available for PC. Of course, if you pre-order the game, you get full access access to the game at launch on the 22nd. This is the same with Premier Access, but it isn't the case for EA and Origin Access. So if you're paying £4 a month, you won't be able to play the game at launch. You only get access to the demo. But speaking of the demo, this is where we get onto the various cosmetics you can get from pre-ordering certain versions of the game. If you look in the small text of the VIP demo, it does say that you get an exclusive item for taking part. I asked Mike Gamble on Twitter what it was, and he says that it's a decal, which is kind of like what I'm showing on screen. It's a paint job, like the M7 version I'm showing here. It goes on top of your colour scheme for your javelin. I don't think there's any way to recolor them, but it's a nice little thing that you can put on top. We don't know specifically what the decal is, but considering a lot of the cosmetic side of stuff is based around the Legion of Dawn, I would assume that it would be to do with that. But again, just a guess. We don't know specifically what it is, but we do know that it is a decal and cosmetic for taking part in the VIP demo. Now let's go over all of the other various things that you can get from getting the basic pre-order or the Legion of Dawn pre-order. Premier Access will go over in a second because that's where it gets really interesting. So for the basic pre-order of the game, I get about £55. You get access to the VIP demo, so you will get the decal if you take part. You also get a Founders Player Banner, which I'm not quite sure what that is, to be honest. But you also get Legion of Dawn stuff for the Ranger. You get the armor piece, which I'm showing on screen, and also the Legion of Dawn weapon, which is called Light of the Legion. And so that's everything that you get from pre-ordering the basic edition of the game. If you buy the game post-launch, you don't get anything. You don't get the VIP demo decal because, of course, you didn't take part in that demo. You don't get the Founders Player Banner, you don't get the Ranger Legion of Dawn armor, and you don't get the Ranger Legion of Dawn weapon either. So that's the difference between pre-ordering a standard edition and not pre-ordering it. The difference between a standard edition and the Legion of Dawn edition can be summarized like this. The Legion of Dawn gets everything that we just went over, the decal, the player banner, the Ranger Legion of Dawn armor, and the weapon, but you also get a Ranger legendary ability. Not quite sure what this is yet, but I am assuming that it might be Argos Mace, which is the legendary blast missile that we saw beforehand. We're kind of makes sense but again not confirmed but you do get a legendary gear piece that you will be able to use no doubt from level one i would assume you also of course get the armor for the colossus the storm and the interceptor because you get the full deluxe edition right but you also get the digital soundtrack so again these are the differences between the basic standard pre-order and the legion of dawn pre-order the difference between the legion of dawn pre-order and not pre-ordering it you don't get the demo decal because you weren't part of the vip demo and you also won't get the founders player banner but you will get everything else all of the javelin armor the weapon the legendary ability you will get all of that too i did say it was kind of confusing but hopefully you're keeping up but this is where it gets really interesting to see. The Premier Access basically gets everything. Remember, I said it gets the VIP demo. You get access to the game a full week early. You get the game at launch too, which you can play so long as you maintain your membership. But you also get the demo decal because you took part in the VIP demo with any luck. You get the Founders Player Banner. You get the Ranger Legion of Dawn armor. You get the weapon. You get the legendary ability. You get all of the armor for all of the other javelins, as well as the digital soundtrack. If I show you this full table, you get to see how much Premier 
Premier Axis gets in comparison to even the Legion of Dawn edition. So of course a lot of people that are really interested in Anthem will have to get the Premier Axis to get the game a full week early. I can understand those not being particularly happy with this, but I don't really want to give my opinion in this video, I just want to give you the cold hard facts. So the common question that I of course get asked all the time is, should I pre-order? And at this rate, I'd just say get Premier Access at least for a month. Get it at the start of January so you know that you're getting in for the VIP demo, so get it around now, and just see how you feel about the game. It is worth noting that if you do have Premier Access, of course you get access to all of the other EA games as I mentioned, but you also get discounts for buying games in there too, about 10% I believe. So if you want, you could just have Premier Access for a couple of months, then when you're ready to buy the Basic Edition or the Legion of Dawn Edition, you will get a discount on buying that too. Then you cancel your membership. So I think that's what I'm personally going to be doing, but definitely start with getting Premier Access. That seems to be the most straightforward way of going about it. And as I said, you get near on everything that we've gone over. The decals, the player banner, all of the armor, the weapons, the legendary gear piece. You get it all for being a Premier Access member, which again is about £15 a month. As I said, this is the complete breakdown of everything in this version of the game. And that's everything you need to know about the various editions of the game and also the demos too. When we get closer to the demo, I can go over specifically what is going to be in there, what you should be doing, some tips and tricks that I've learned from playing the game prior that you might want to know, but we'll do that around launch. So if this video is a little bit more complicated and long-winded, there is a lot of stuff to go in here. And if you do have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. See you guys soon. Take care and I'll see you then.